Hi, today's lesson is the Saavedra position. It's one of the most studied end games of all time. We're going to examine any in detail each move and try to determine the thought process behind finding the solution. How should white play to win? If you need more time, pause the video and take your time. All right, let's look at some options. We know if white comes down here to b7 with a king, the rook can just go over here to c5 and take the pawn on the next move for the draw, which is all that black's trying to do. Same as if he goes to c7, or even if he goes to a7 or a6, he's going to lose the pawn. Okay, so the best move for white is just to bring his pawn up to c7. Again, it's one move away from promoting, and it stops the rook from coming down here to d8. Black really only has one good option, and that is to go to rook to d6 to check the king. Now the king has a few more options. If he goes here to b7, the rook is just going to pin the pawn and take the pawn on the next move for the draw. Same thing with a7. And if he comes over here to a5, he's going to lose the pawn. So he has b5 and c5. If he comes over here to c5, the rook is just going to come down here to d1, planning for a skewer. His plan is to come over here to c1 and pin the king to the pawn and then take the pawn. And of course, if the king moves, he's still going to end up taking the pawn for the draw. So the best move for white is to bring king to b5. The pawn cannot be stopped with the, with the rook so far, so the rook's just going to have to come down here to d5 and say check again. We know that a6 and a4 aren't going to work because he's just going to end up taking the pawn. And we know this is a repetitive move. And we know this move here gets ready for the skewer and will lose the pawn. So the best move for white is just to continue back down with b4 and the rook to d4. We know the same thing. Can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, can't go here because of the skewer. So the best move for white, again, is to come down king to b3. The rook will follow. Now, we know that the king can't go to here and we can't go, he can't step away. And this is a repetitive move. So the best move for the king is here. Now notice he cannot be put into check without the rook being lost. So the pawn is going to promote. And we know it's not going to be able to stop the pawn. So what is black's best move here? In this position, the rook is going to come over here to d4 for a last attempt. If the pawn promotes to a queen, the rook is going to come over here to c4 and say check, forking the king and the queen. Obviously, if the king moves, the queen is taken and black will win the game. So white has to take. And now it is black's turn and he cannot move and he's not in check, but he will be put into check and it is a draw and black succeeds in what he wants to do. So, in this position, we know that black is going to get his draw. So what can white do? White can underpromote to a rook. Now it's black's turn and notice that white has checkmate on a8. So the only thing that black can do right now to stop the checkmate is bring his rook over here to a4. Now the white king attacks the rook at b3 and also attacks c1 with the rook for checkmate. Black can't stop this and will lose his rook or checkmate next move and white will win the game. This is a great study, the Saavedra position. 